All right, guys, welcome to the Lux Penny channel. This video is especially dedicated to the grade six students who are unable to be a part of my three day marathon. Um, still have you guys in mind, still want to help you guys as much as possible. All right, so this is a very short paper, it's basically about 10 questions. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's from the Ministry of Education, Newton Information. And this was for the practice questions, May, June 2018. So it's quite a bit of time, but you know, the months never change, the principle never change. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please ensure so you're subscribed right now, right? And guys, please ensure so you like the video also. All right, let's proceed. And it's specifically for grade six, however, grade five, grade four, three, also can watch, you know, to get familiar with all the structure the questions. And here is my number and my name. My name is Lennox Bennett. My number is 876-549-2161. All right. And it's for PEP and CSEC, City and Girls classes. All right, let's get right into it. And it's the ability test. All right. So it says this paper, as I said, guys, it's practice. This paper consists of 10 items. So we're going to do all 10. So again, guys, you can hit the like button right away for Mr. Lennox Bent. Do that for me now, please. All right, here we go. So we are at question one, and it says David's mother gave him $200 to buy some carrots at Blue Market. She will be using the carrots to make juice for her church barbecue on Friday. At the market, David finds two vendors selling carrots. Vendor A has carrots for $40 per kilogram, and vendor B has larger carrots for $50 per kilogram. Question. Question, and it says, A, from which vendor should David buys, buy the carrot? All right, so basically let us assess. So you only have $200 to spend in the market. You got a friend in from Trinidad to be go. Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Saba. Yeah, big up everybody. All right, so we have $200 to spend. So the first vendor, which is vendor here, It's only going to cost $40 per kilogram. So it's $40 per kilogram. So that means, let's see how many kilogram you can get if you buy from vendor A. Be more the area, eh? So you can get a total of five kilogram. All right, let's see. They only say vendor. Vendor B has the same the same kilogram, but it's fifty dollars per kilogram. So we're gonna divide it by fifty. So if you buy from vendor B, you can only get for that now. You can only get four kilogram. So even though it might say it's bigger. The weight is the same. It's per kilogram, right? So they don't be fooled by say, okay, because them bigger, them better. All right. So hopefully David buy from bought from vendor A. And this is the reason. You get one kilogram more for the same two hundred dollars. That's when you buy from vendor A. All right, so it's a very nice and interesting question. Well done. The people must set that question. They're big up for themselves. All right, question two says, you are the captain of your school's basketball team. Your coach has asked to give, has asked to help to decide which player will be the better to able to help the team to win the important match against the team that did the defending champions. Study the table below and use it to help you make your decision. All right, first of all, let's look at what Natasha did. 
In match one, she scored 28 points. Match two, 26. Match three, 19. Match four, 21. And match five, 29 points. So let's look at what Andre did. The first match was a blast. She scored 44. But then she went down and she scored zero. Then she went again and 31. And then she go to six. Then she go to 42. So based on that trend, I would choose Natasha. Natasha seems to be very consistent, right? So Natasha always score at least 19 points. See, the lowest is 19. So that's good help you with. Well, Andrine is said to be very inconsistent. So she scored enough, then she go all low. She scored a good amount, then she go low. So based off of that trend, she's expected to score a low mark, probably a seven. And in the final, you don't want that. Eh? You want at least 19 points. So, and put to put, put, put to you to guys, Andrew can come good enough and score 40 again, and you win the championship. But well, that's an iris. All right. So I would go with Natasha, even though my, I, if I, as a coach, I would probably, just for this question, I would choose Natasha because if she come good, she come. I would choose Andrean because if she come, she would she come real good. She come real good. All right, she just score a lot, so that's the reason. I'm not gonna type in the reason. I already said it. I would choose Natasha based on consistency, while Andrean is expected to fluctuate to a very low mark. So she go high, then she go low. She go high, then she go low. All right? So I'm going to go with that. All right, let's move on to question three. In a bag, there is an equal number of red. All right, so we have red, blue, and the yellow marbles. How many marbles would, could be in the bag? All right, so it can be 16. Because she cannot go into 16, cannot go into 29, cannot go into 37. So it would be 42. It has to be a multiple of 3. And 42 is a multiple of 3. All right. Let's look on, move on to question 4. It takes approximately 90 seconds for the average person to brush his or her teeth. What is this? If a person brush their teeth twice daily, approximately how many times, how much, how much time does that person spend running the teeth for the year? What is this? This is a crazy question. All right, let me try. All right, I'm going to go by weeks first. So per day, it, it takes approximately 90 seconds, which is one and a half minutes for our person to brush their teeth. If you brush it twice, all right, so we are going with three, three minutes per day then, right? I brush it twice. That means uh, uh, you have seven days, so that's 21 minutes for one week. For one month, it would be four times the 21. Four ones, four, four twos, eight. So this is for the month, and then you have 12 of 12 and all of this is in minutes you know so bear in mind a minute we have worked with so far all right then we convert it to all if necessary so two fours all right let me work out this now so we are multiply 84 by 12 so four twos are eight two fours are eight why am i also also Okay, some days are just annoying, you know, guys. I don't understand. I really want to do this for you guys. I just got to upload um, a, a new update. And now this is moving shaky. Anyway, we're going to multiply 84 times 12. So 2 4 is 8. It's not right like it used to. 2 8 or 16. Put to zero, one, four, four, and one, eight, or eight. So these are minutes. So we have eight, 
816 carry one. So basic, basically we have 908, call it 900 minutes approximately. So we have 900. So in order to find out, now we're gonna divide this by 60. How many hours? So approximately one, let's see how many, 90 divides of first, it goes up, boom. And then six into 90, about 15 times. So that are 15 hours. So this now make about a day. Wow. It's far from 24, but it's further from one hour. All right, question five. There are five teams in a basketball competition. Each team must play each other other teams once. How many games will each team play? All right, so we have some of the call. We have team A. Team A, I'm going to play B, C, D, tower four, and E. So A times, we just have focus on A alone. So A, B, A, C, A, D, and A, E. So that will be four times, all right? All right, let's move on to six. If a droplet of water falls from a piece, a pipe every 20 seconds, how many droplets of water would have fallen from the pipe in five minutes? All right. So every 20 seconds. So how many seconds make one minute? Which is 60. So how many 20 seconds are in a minute? That would be three, right? Because they are going to divide. You put me right. So that's a three times. So it's going to do three times per minute. And it's only five minutes. So it will be three times five. Which work out to 15. Let's look at question seven. For every school work given, a teacher gives two star for 90%. So let me just put that two. And for students. And one star if them get from 80 to 89. So if you let me just put that here. So always write down the information, guys, and look at it. All right. So this is one star. And it says a student got four class work and earned a total of five star, which of the following could possibly represent his score. So I'm supposed to get five. So let's look at it. So if I get 85, that's a one star. It's a one star, it's a two star. So that's a four star. Then I get for 60. All right, for this, I will get two, two, and this one. So yeah, it is B. For this, let me just check them here. This will be two, two, two. So this is a total of six. The person will get three, two and one. All right. So the answer would be B. Let's look at question eight. Paul, who is 54 years old, is three times older than his son, Daniel. Daniel is two years older than his sister, Leah. How old is Leah? All right, so it's two. So 54, so it's 54 divided by three. Let's see how that works out. 3 into 5, that goes 1 time, 3, 1, 3. So we subtract. That gives us 24, which goes 3 into 24, 8. So that means Daniel is 18. Daniel in the lion, then. So Daniel is 18. And his sister, Daniel is 2 years older. So that means you're going to subtract two to get Leah age. So Leah would be 16. By the way, if you go up yourself, Leah, two Leah me teach. One is that Pullman's now from last year and our current Leah. All right, let's go. So 19 now. 
it says school A and school B each has 650 students. The diagram below shows the distribution of females, males and females in the two schools. And it says that section school B rather had, have an equal number of male and female. So that it'll be what? 325? Let me just put in that, guys. We like work. We like see things nowadays. And I'm used to freestyle. Let's imagine so that it's 325 and 325. All right. Which one are red? Females are red. So let's have cut the half. You know, because this it means you have more females. All right, than males. All right, that's it. Don't be afraid to write on the chit so, All right. I hear one. Write on it. It's going to help you. All right. So I'm going to see what it's saying. It says. Based on the information above, which statement is true? All right. The number of students in school A, no, the number of male students in school A and school B are equal. That is wrong. Right, let's move on to the next one. The number of male students in school B is less than the number of A. Yeah, that is correct. All right. You can see it. Don't reach up to. 325, probably about 300. I'm not going to see now what the others say. The number of female students in school A is more than the male students in school B. Of course, that is true. The number of female in school A is more than the number of male students in school B. Yes, that is true. It's past three, past half, 325 plus that, about 350. So let me go back to the previous statement and see what it, what it is, if I'm being misread it. The number of male students in school B is less. Oh, school B. That's, this a B. A good thing is I'm going to read it over. This is correct. As it says, school B is less than this school A. I was asked it was school A less than B. Guys, read the questions carefully, all right? That's what nearly happened to me. All right. Slow is to fast as young is to. Don't think it's history. Think it's old. All right, guys. So to be a part of my class, you can contact me on this number, all right? You guys want to what a C sec pep have the class for you. My name is Lennox Bennett. If you're not a subscriber, please use this time to go ahead and do so before the video ends so you can find back my channel. All right, this is Lennox Bennett. I'm out for that. See you guys in another video.